Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is a new hair video for you today. If you are new to my channel, I do suffer from CCCA alopecia or CCC alopecia. Anyways, <laughs> this is after my wash day. You already seen that video, okay? This is after my wash day. Ooh, that's a gray hair. Listen here, child, okay? There's a lot going on. I am going to moisturize my hair in this video and I'm gonna trim my hair in this video because why? I am prepping myself for my hair growth challenge that I have going on with my friend. Never mind that my hair is falling out or my scalp is scarring and whatever, all that stuff that's going on, okay? I'm going to beat her. <laughs> I'm going to make sure my hair grows more in the six-month span, okay? We have a check-in after three months and then six months total. That's when we do our little wrap-up, okay? I'm just letting y'all know I am serious about this. <laughs> What I'm going to be doing, I have no idea, okay? The only thing is, she has a bit more advantage when it comes to using natural stuff because she's been doing it for years, even before it was a trend on YouTube. I'm just putting that out there, like, you know what I'm saying? So I learned quite a few things from her. I have not, um, I don't have all her information, but I'm going to use what I have, acquire some more, and beat her. <laughs> Anyways, my wash day was actually really good. My scalp felt amazing. I was relaxed, so that's a plus. My hair was super moist, bouncy. It had life into it. That clay mask actually helped because I left it in for a little while. The deep treatment, I left in for a little while. So now I'm just, you know, I'm using my regular oil that I made and my hair butter that I made that my hair and scalp agree with. Hasn't done me any damage yet, okay? trimming my hair and all that jazz there will be a length check video after this one because i'm just not gonna put everything in one video okay i can't i'm just not gonna do that <laughs> but this has been my first trim since i have no idea it's been a while since i had a trim and i realized that i needed a trim the last length check that i did was january 1st because i did one 2021 january 1st to the end of the year so it's going to be interesting to see how much growth i can acquire in three months and then in six months because i'm gonna be her <laughs> and i just you know i'm looking for for me it's not even about the length but it is because of the challenge but it's more about keeping my scalp healthy moisturized because the minute it, it gets dry those um scarred spots they say hey girl where's my water where's my lubricant because if not i'm about to cause a whole mess up in here okay that's what's been happening so i need to make sure my scalp is moisturized constantly and by moisturized i listen i would even go in the shower and run my hair on the water and then put my butter and oils on top do you know what i'm saying because it gets dry very easily and that is triggering the itching. So once my scalp is moisturized, I think I will be able to manage the scarring that I have currently. Hopefully it doesn't spread because the minute it's dry, it's a whole mess. Okay, I'm not here for that. But anyways, um, I'm not using ribbon wraps in this video. I'm doing very loose bantu knots chiny bumps whatever you want to call them i think these are bantu knots i don't think these are chiny bumps but you you see what i'm doing <laughs> um i found that this also helps this technique also helps me there's no real pulling on my scalp um i don't feel anything after it's dried Usually when I braid my hair in or twist my hair in, I start itching the next day because I feel it. Like I feel like I have braids in my hair. But this method and the ribbon wrapping method, I don't feel anything. My hair feels light. It's loose. It is not tight. When I go to sleep, I don't have a problem. So that's what I'm looking for in terms of like a protective style or something that doesn't trigger any more flare-ups and itching and... You, you know what you get with when you have that type of alopecia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. It really has been a struggle. And I'm just not... I'm not going to give up. 
I've been frustrated for a little bit because of all these different things that are happening, but I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I find that I have to keep a routine, like a very strict routine. I cannot go over one day for my wash day or else my scalp is going to flare up. It has to be within the week. I wash my hair weekly and it's been working, but if I go over a day, it, it's hell. You know what I'm saying? So that is it for your little update. After this video, you will see a length check. And after that, it's whatever I come up with. <laughs> it's my regular wash days. My friend recommended a shampoo that I am going to order so that I can alternate with the medicated shampoo because like I said in my previous video, that medicated shampoo is hell on my hair. It keeps my scalp clean, which is what it's supposed to do, right? It's a cleanser, but it's a very, very, very harsh cleanser. So using that every week is just not going to be, that's not going to be my routine anymore. So once I get the new shampoo, um, hopefully that works with my scalp. It's soothing. It helps. And I'll alternate. I still have another prescription for the medicated shampoo. So I'll just have it. I'll fill it. I'll have it as backup. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't go wrong with the backup. At least I know it works. Right. But I also need to, um, I need to go hair shopping. Well, not hair shopping, product shopping. <laughs> Because as much as I want to do things naturally, if I use that shampoo, I have to use the deep treatments and the conditioners that I know my hair loves so that I don't create other issues until I can find a natural product as in me making it myself or it's out there that does not affect my scalp or cause me any more issues. I'm going to try my best. To stick to what I know, okay, while working through trying to use natural products because I'm not mad at my hair butter child. <laughs> I'm not mad at my hair oil. I am not mad, okay. So if I can make like a conditioner or a deep treatment that's natural based, I will not be mad, child, okay. That's strong enough to help combat this dryness from this stupid shampoo, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways. That's enough talking. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you back here for another one. Bye. Any ideas?